What's for dinner in my house over this past week? Well, I am definitely, I have noticed, in some kind of rut, dinner rut. Uh, I will meal prep, make recipes for breakfast and lunch, but when it comes to dinner, I don't, I don't know what it is. If it's just like I'm done by the end of the day, I'm like, I don't wanna do anything else. Easy peasy, convenient factory over here or what, but the last few videos I've noticed, and this one's no different, is kind of just shopping what I've got, things that I've been picking up that sounded good, and cooking them per package directions, <laughs> which sounds so bad. Um, so that's what I have to share with you guys today, five dinners, um, like I said from this past week, what I fed my family, and who knows, maybe I will get out of this and the next video I'll actually like hands-on stuff. I don't know. Let me know. Leave me a comment down below what you guys had for dinner this past week. Maybe reading other meal ideas will kick my butt in gear or something, but I have enjoyed kind of just going through what we have on hand. It's helped me get rid of and like go through some of the stuff that we have in the pantry, which has helped, and the freezer. Some of these items have been in our freezer for a while. Some of these items I just picked up and I was like, yeah, that sounds good tonight, we're gonna have it. So anyways, <laughs> let me go ahead and take you through these five dinners that I made for the family. For tonight's dinner, I'm using several items that I picked up from Trader Joe's. I'm also going to make a salad, just a little small salad. I have one little head of romaine lettuce that I need to use up before it starts to wilt. But I've got these garlic and cheese breadsticks. I'm just gonna heat them up in the oven per package directions. I'm going to be using this bolognese style sauce, tomato and beef tomato and beef pasta sauce to go with the ravioli or ravioloni. I just call it ravioli, <laughs> but it's got tomato and burrata in it. So double stuffed bicolor pasta with tom tomato and burrata cheese uh, fillings. And I've got two packages here. So like I said, just super easy, pick it per directions, boil some water, let it cook for a few minutes and then I'll add, or I'll probably like heat the sauce up on the side. I'm not quite sure if I'll need this whole entire thing, but I'll find something to do with the leftovers. And then like I already mentioned, a little salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything whipped up and then I'll show you guys our spread. If you've watched any of my previous what's for dinner, I just, we do it buffet style. So everything's gonna be set up here and then I'll go ahead and make my plate and that way you can see like what the plate looks like. Okay, dinner is served. I've got my little bowl of salad. <laughs> Normally I have enough salad to have two nights in a row. This is gonna be gone tonight because like I already mentioned, I only had one little romaine lettuce heart left. So I made a little salad, pulled out everything that everybody likes a mixture of stuff. So we've got cottage cheese, ranch, Italian dressing, bacon, sunflower kernels, and some croutons. Here's the ravioli with the sauce. I just dumped all the sauce in here because I feel like if all the ravioli is gone and there's plenty of sauce left, I'll just scoop out the sauce and save it for something else. I've got some fried ravioli in the, in the freezer. So if there's enough sauce, I can just save that for dipping for later. So then we've got the breadsticks and then a couple people like to add Parmesan on any type of pasta dish if we're having like a red sauce with it. So I've got the Parmesan. Normally everybody makes their plates and then I make mine last. <laughs> but when I'm filming, I always make mine first. That way I can show you guys. So here's my plate. I am one that loves Parmesan cheese on top of pasta. So I've got some of the ravioli. What I like on my salad, I'm sorry if you guys have watched all of my what's for dinners. We have pasta once a week and we always have a salad with it. So you guys have heard me <laughs> say what I like on my salad before. But if you're new, I love cottage cheese, sunflower seeds, and Italian dressing. And it is super delicious. And then I've got a little garlic cheese bread right there. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight. All right, tonight's dinner is already cooking. I forgot that I wanted to film this week, but all I have in the crock pot is four chicken breasts. And then I sprinkled a healthy amount of taco seasoning on them. And then I have one can of crushed tomatoes and I'm gonna let that cook. I actually have it on high. It's already after lunchtime when I started it. So I have it on high for four hours and then I'll be back later on, hopefully, if I remember <laughs> to show you guys uh, what we're gonna have this with. Okay, you might hear the dog bowls. 
They are finishing up eating, so they like to like walk around a couple times and check their bowls, lick them just to make sure that they've got everything out of them. Um, but my chicken is done. I'm just going to scoop it out. Okay, I'm sure you've seen this hack. I mean, like it, it's been years now, really. <laughs> but just in case you haven't, this is just a super easy, quick hack, quick hack, minimal effort. And that's just using a hand mixer to shred your chicken. <laughs> and I left that in real time so you could see how long it took. Not very long at all. Okay, let's scoot you back over here. So I'm going to get my chicken back in here and mix it in with the tomatoes. That way all that flavor's in there. And then we are not quite ready to eat. It's only just barely after four o'clock. So I'm just gonna put this on keep warm and we'll be back in about an hour to get everything else ready for our Taco Tuesday. Okay, I have, well, let me go ahead and put the top on. I've already made one, so we're making some more, but I've got one tortilla on the bottom. I've got some of my chicken in there and then I have this taco blend cheese I added on top. I'm gonna cover that. So instead of burritos, we're gonna have some quesadillas. I was just gonna do burritos, but the kids really enjoy quesadillas. So this little dash quesadilla maker is perfect. And I just let it cook for four minutes. So I'll show you guys when it's all done. And I've got, if you guys hear the microwave going, we're just heating up some quick refried beans in the microwave. Our spread is on this counter tonight and we are gonna use paper plates <laughs> because I didn't do the dishes earlier and my sink's already full. So what I've got, here's one plate. I definitely put a little bit too much chicken in here, but that's okay, it's gonna be a delicious. So we've got our chicken and cheese, quesadillas. I've got a little salsa on the side because I like to dip my quesadilla in the salsa. And then we've got some refried beans here. I just put some lettuce and some cheese on that. So that's my plate. We've got another cheese quesadilla going. Rose and Bryce like this cheese, the sliced Colby Jack. So they're making quesadillas with that. But we've got our like quesadilla station right here. Pull the crock pot over for those who want chicken. We'll definitely have leftover chicken. So what I'll do is I'll have like a chicken uh, salad tomorrow. I'll add this with some lettuce and some cheese, maybe some sour cream, and I'll be a good to go. Here's our refried beans. And then I do have some chips and queso for whoever wants it, the salsa, little bowls for everybody to use, and then here's our lettuce. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Tonight's dinner is all on the stove top, and it's just kind of like a hodgepodge. I just kind of pulled things out of the freezer. So I've got this chicken fried rice. I'm gonna cook both bags because I think this will get eaten the most. And then I'm going to heat up a few of these, whatever I can fit in this little skillet right here. So mm, I don't know, I can't remember how big they are, maybe 10, um, but this is beef bulgogi mandu. So they're just extra large dumplings. My, my kids call them pot stickers, that's what we call them. And then I didn't have this for lunch and the date is fastly approaching. So I picked this up because I plan on having it for lunch and I never did. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this too. That way it's done, made. Got a little bit of extra veggies in there for the kids to eat, but I'm gonna go ahead. Like I said, this is just all in the skillet. And I think these take the longest, eight minutes, five minutes, probably four to five minutes as well. So quick, easy dinner. So I fit 15 in here, probably a little closer together than what they should, but I don't wanna do them in batches. I want this to be a a one and done dinner. <laughs> so I just covered the bottom with some oil. I've got it on medium high heat and I'll just flip them every few minutes. And it says it takes about eight minutes. I just kind of eyeball it whenever you can see how long we've had. These are the last few in that bag. There was a ton that were just like covered 
well not a ton, but there was a handful that were just covered in ice. So I threw away the rest. This was a, what I was able to fit in here. And like I said, this is gonna take the longest. So we've got that going and then I'll get the other things going here in a second. The dinner is done. I just turned everything off. I'm not gonna make a plate and show it because I'm gonna go ahead, they're hungry. They've already been down here. And I was like, oh, let me just, let me turn the camera on real quick. So I've got our plates, forks, pretty much everybody likes to dip their, like I said, pot stickers. This is bulgogi, but pot stickers, wontons, how many different, I know there's like a variation to each of them, but universal, they're, every, they're all pot stickers. Uh, definitely need to clean up the stove top later on after it cools off before going to bed because I had that on a little too high, as you can see, but we like ours a little crispy on the outside. Same with the rice. I turned it up just to get a little crispiness going on. So we're definitely a crispy family, but everybody pretty much likes to use soy sauce, either adding it, everybody will add more soy sauce to the fried rice. Um, and oh yeah, I forgot to put salt and pepper. So I need to salt and pepper it. I'm gonna add a little soy sauce to it. And then Pearl and Mark love sriracha. So they will, um, they do kind of a combination. I've seen them mix sriracha and soy sauce together as a dip um, for like the pot stickers, but for fried rice and any kind of like lo mein or noodley type of dish, they will squirt this like over the top. They'll just drizzle it over the top. So I've got the sriracha out for those two. The, the rest of us, the other three of us just like the soy sauce, but here we go. We've got everything quick and easy for a dinner tonight. All right, we are having another like Tex-Mex dinner. We had a pretty big and late lunch, so we're having a lighter late dinner. I say lighter, but you can really fill up on some chips and salsa. <laughs> so this is not queso though. This is Fiesta Ranch. It's just a little Fiesta Ranch dry mix packet. And then I mix it in with 16 ounces of sour cream. And this is a super easy way to get more veggies into the kids because they like to dip it in that. So we've got a variety of veggies here. We've got some tomatoes, sugar snap peas, baby carrots, cucumber. And then we've got some black olives here. I've got chips for some homemade fresh salsa. We've also got some homemade guacamole here. And then the ruffles, Bryce really likes, well, and Mark likes the ruffles in the Fiesta Ranch, so I've got that there. And then I had these little mini tacos in the freezer. So I went ahead and baked those up because I thought those would be good with the guacamole and the salsa. So kind of like a picky dinner, but this is going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last little dinner clip that I'm going to have for you guys in this video. But I just kind of pulled together things <laughs> that we had on hand, which has been, you know, the last like two what's for dinner videos. That's just where we are right now. We're um, full on convenience mode. We've got these cranberry and jalapeno chicken meatballs that I picked up over the holidays. They had, they were sampling them at Costco or Sam's, I can't remember. I want to say Costco just because I know I was with Kira when I got these, but they were so good. Like it has the the flavor of the jalapeno, but it's not spicy at all. And I don't do like a whole lot of spice. So these are really good. I'm excited to have them. Not sure if like we'll have the gravy for this or not, but I do have this gravy. This was like a, a bonus from Walmart delivery. I didn't order all of the gravy that I got and I got like a bunch. So I'm trying to utilize the gravy where we can. So we're gonna use this to go with our pierogies. And I've got two different kinds. I've got the classic cheddar and the loaded baked potato. And then I also thought the meatballs would be good with sauerkraut. So if you don't wanna use the gravy and just have, that's kind of what I like. I like a plain meat with the sauerkraut, super, super yummy. And then I had a couple kids request corn on the cob as well. They're not huge fans of the sauerkraut, only Pearl is. So I'm <laughs> gonna do some corn on the cob as well. And this is gonna be just our quick little dinner for tonight. So let me go ahead and get it all whipped up and I'll show you guys what it all looks like. As always, nothing different here. We've got buffet style going on. So we've got our meatballs. We'll definitely have leftover meatballs and sauerkraut gravy. Got our corn on the cob and then the pierogies over here. And I did go ahead and make my plate real quick just so you guys could see it all plated up. So I've got some corn. I got two of each of the pierogies. So remember there was two different flavors. So I got those. 
And then I put my meatballs on top of the sauerkraut. And at first I wasn't going to put gravy on it, but I think that's going to be delicious. So I did do a little drizzle of gravy on a top as well as the pierogies just to give them a little something, something. But this is what we were having for dinner tonight. What I tell you. All right. So we are actually... These dinners are from last week. You're already seeing this like almost a week later and we're about to, we're getting ready to go on a little vacation and I made myself a list and I'm meal prepping a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna film that and share it with you guys and like the next week or two, it just depends on when I can, you know, when we get back and I can sit down and edit it. But going through some cookbooks, I now feel like I'm ready to dive back into dinner time. It's just harder to film at dinner time because everybody's home, everybody's hungry. I mean, if you guys have kids, they're always thinking about the next meal. I mean, like right after breakfast, they're like, what's for lunch? And then, you know, the same thing for lunch. Right after lunch, they're like, what's for dinner? So pulling out the camera on top of dinner time at the end of the day is a little stressful. So I ordered myself at every plate, not sponsored. I use my own money with them constantly. I enjoy every plate. It's quick, easy meals, but homemade meals, the ingredients come straight to my door. So I've got every plate coming in shortly after we get back from vacation, which will be nice. That'll get me in the cooking mood. And then maybe the following week, I'll get my hands on some recipes and we'll cook together and I'll share that with you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It gave you some ideas, or at least you're seeing like what we're using, what my family likes to eat, that kind of thing. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.